America has always been about business, establishing an industrial empire. But some of those businesses took advantage of its workforce, while creating tremendous wealth for its owners. Monopolies were challenged and labor laws enforced, causing competition among businesses to grow even stronger, and perhaps nowhere more fiercely than in the music business. With access to abundant hopefuls, record companies easily exploited artists and controlled the distribution of music in record stores and on the airwaves. Artists were often coerced or forced into contracts that gave up ownership of their own music. Black artists especially took a hit, barred from the radio because they were black. They were forced to let white performers cover their music. Black entrepreneurs started record companies only to emulate business practices of the past. In the 1970s, below the music industry's radar, a new art form developed in the inner cities, incorporating dance, art, fashion, and music. Hip hop gave a voice to inner city youth. Considered a mere fad, the music of hip hop was ignored by mainstream record companies. But as independent rap releases shockingly started selling in the hundreds of thousands, the major labels had to take notice. A collision between art and business was inevitable, beginning with the very first breakout rap record. Fuck Hank, man.